Hey everyone, it's Lisa. In today's project we'll be using several of our new items out of the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. Um, the item you see before you is something I made a while ago and you can find it's nothing new <laughs> in other words and this is uh, I made this one using one of our very old papers it was Chateau Bleu one of my favorites um, and I will tell you more about that later just to give you some variations of what you can do for this project but we're first gonna get straight to the project for this project we will be using the new color box chalk um, and this one is aquamarine we're going to be using the painted blooms designer series paper and I've already gone ahead and cut what I want but I'll just show you that real quick again well you may have never seen it but um, I may also have shown it in another video so but I'll just show you that right now love love these very pretty papers very springy um, some of them I find very neutral and they would be great for ma more masculine cards or you know ginger neutral I'm really wanting to show you something fun with this one but I need to go and uh, that one looks kind of kind of reminds me of Easter eggs for some reason um, I need to go get um, some items <laughs> to finish the project that I do not have so that's why I'm not doing a video of that just yet hopefully I will get to do that so these are 12 by 12 sheets and get two of each pattern so I've gone ahead move this aside and make sure I don't accidentally get rid of the papers I'm using <laughs> uh, what you will need we sell these a uh, set of I want to say four I believe they come in packs of four we sell uh, these our clear mount stamps come in these cases and you can order them by the pack with nothing in them so I have that there's so much you can do with these uh, these cases uh, for storage. You can, you know, store your magnets in there, or uh, you'll see what I'm going to do with it here. So I've gone ahead and I've cut this paper a ten and a half by seven inches, and I've decided I'm going to use this side for what I want to do. And then we have this new wonderful. Um, Oh, it's for it's, it's chalkboard paper is what it is. It's very heavy, and I'm glad it's it's almost like a like a hmm, I want to say a, ch a thin chipboard, but it's 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 very strong, very strong. So, what I want to tell you about this paper is that you have a smooth side, and I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. but when you get your hands on it you will be able to tell the difference so there's a smooth side and there's a rough side feels a little more textured the smooth side is the side that you will use the chalkboard uh, chalk on the rough side you will use for our um, if you have a craft stamp and ink so so let me put this aside so the first thing I'm going to do, I will be using a stamp that unfortunately um, is no longer available if you missed this during celebrations. I'm so sorry, but this is what I have uh, to use. There is another stamp set that hopefully I won't forget to mention to you later because it um, coordinates with the punch that I'll be using. But this is You Brighten My Day. Um, I may change my mind and just use this little stamp here that says Note. Uh, this is one of the stamps from my, and I lost one, it's around here somewhere, um, from uh, the Paper Pumpkin, one of my kits. So that's the really nice thing about when you join uh, my Paper Pumpkin. 
you know you have items that you can use again and again mainly the stamps so that's I like that font right there so I might change my mind and use that I don't know so I'm gonna take this one out and it says there's always something to be thankful for that's why I liked it because it's a good reminder if you're carrying your little case around that there is always something to be thankful for I have found that my life is a lot more pleasant uh, since I started you know living with a more grateful attitude and realizing that there are a lot of things to be thankful for even though I know things can get tough but I know many people who have it a lot tougher than I do so um, you know who am I to complain I see them handle life <laughs> with a whole lot of more a whole lot more grace than uh, you know some people do with less less stressful things okay so there's that it's kind of pretty um, I would recommend more of a you know what I'm gonna try this other one too because I haven't decided more of a bold stamp I mean that that's a really pretty stamp I like that um, but as you can see it's not the writing isn't very bold and usually you want the chalk that chalkboard look to be bolder but I kinda like that so um, I just realized oh wait hold on what do I do uh, oops knocking things around here okay I'm gonna need my block and I need to rub off any oil that might be on it and my stamp I like to lay mine on the table or on my surface work surface and do you know put it on like that <laughs> make sure it's on good okay so yeah that's a nice a lot uh, a bolder font there so we'll see how that looks too so I'll put that on there okay and then what I like to do when I'm not on video is to clean these up right away but um, to save time I'll have to clean those up later okay and the next thing I'm going to do is take this this punch this is one of our new punches and I'm trying to find something for you okay this is the uh, note note tag punch uh, one of the other stamp sets and this is not a bundle um, a lot of our coordinating stamps and punches or dies use they come in bundles but this one um, it's not a bundle however I did want to show you this stamp set it's one tag fits all and that coordinates with this punch so you might want to go check those two items out so I'm gonna go ahead and punch these out I really like how heavy this paper is and let's see how would I want that on it I think I would want that kind of angle like that so I'm gonna kind of angle that and then see which one I want I'm gonna set those aside I'm gonna take our case and this is very easy all you want to do is open out your case like this there is, oops, if you don't tear it, try not to tear it. <laughs> see, there we go. There's a piece of plastic right here, as you can see. All you're gonna do is slip your paper in there. You don't even have to score it. It'll all work itself out once you get it in there. Does it wanna center that? Oh, okay. And then, I will be right back. That is too short. I don't know what I did wrong there. Thought I had my measurements right. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Well, it turns out, uh, huh, that's a little close. Let's zoom out a little bit. 
that I accidentally cut my paper a half inch shorter than I intended to. I cut it at 10 inches instead of 10 and a half, as you can see there, like I was supposed to. So while I was away cutting, um, I decided that I wanted to go with this sheet instead. So as I was saying, you're simply going to put your slide your paper between the plastic sheet, plastic overlay, and the case itself. And it should go in very easily. Just like that. So easy. And you don't have to do any scoring, um, as I was saying before I had to step away. Um, it's all going to work itself out once you get it in there. And this is my front. So I'm trying to just make sure that's pretty centered on there. Okay, and like I said, be careful that you don't tear your plastic. And then you fold it over. And it fits in there just like that. Really pretty. So, but we're going to decorate ours. So, you could just leave it like that. You could add some ribbon. Um, so many things you can do. We're going to decorate our front. So, we know that this is our front part. And I'm going to decide if I want that tag or that tag. Our. Hmm. No, can't go with both. I'm going to go with notes. I think I'm just going to do that. So, with notes, what I want to do... Now, you want to pretty much keep everything fairly flat um, on the inside or even on your case. If you're going to be putting this in and, you know, in and out of your purse or your tote bag or whatever. But um, I can't help myself. I've got to have some kind of dimension. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, I'm going to raise that up a little bit. You might be saying, well, why, why do that if it's going underneath? You know, it's really not necessary. I just think um, it'll just pop a little more if I do that. So I don't know. It's how my head works. I'm just going to take a couple of these. There's so much more uh, you could do with this. I kind of want it kind of centered. Could add flowers or uh, all kind of things. And if you're not going to be sticking in a bag, I say embellish it up. I love, love, love my uh, linen twine. I use it a lot. You know, you have some items that you just seem to use more than others, and this is one of them. It's very simple and plain, but I just think it so, makes things so cute without adding a lot of bulk. Plus, it's easy to make a bow out of. Oops, I didn't want it that tiny. Okay, come on. I didn't mean to pull it that much. <laughs> and now it doesn't want to. Okay, I'm going to do that again. It's... This is why my videos are never quick. I, I dream of doing five minute videos for all of you because I'm sure you appreciate it when the videos aren't so long. Uh, and there, that looks good. So pull, just kind of fiddle with it a little. There we go. I think that's how I want it. And I'm just going to stick it there like that. And cut a little of this off. I'm not going to cut it too short because I kind of like that. Get myself a glue dot. And uh, add that to the back of this. And I'm going to have to take my fingers and kind of wad that back there a little bit. Because I don't really want it sticking to the case. I want it to stick to the bow. And just the bow and the paper so not that it would hurt the case because it wouldn't you can easily get that off of there and I changed my mind I am going to cut that some more 
now that it's on there I see that I I do want to cut that it wasn't hanging the way I would have liked so there we go and let's see I brought these in here you know what I want bling can't help myself I'm going to get me some bling okay so let's see do I want to just do one or I'm not sure to be honest with you two three I don't know I'll cut off three See how that looks. Uh, I don't want to put it there, there. Hmm. There. Nope, that's not working for me. I think we need to go with two. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, how about there we go? I think that looks better. I think just two. I'm not even sure I want them that close, actually. break the glue. There we go. Now they're two separate little rhinestones. Wow, this is like an operation. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know, what do you think? I think it made it to be somewhere else. Maybe what I need. Let's see. Is this one on the other side? See how that works for me. If I don't lose it. Where did it go? This video is taking a really long time. Wasn't I never plan on it taking a long time, but it, they do. And hopefully you enjoy them anyway. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> there's that. I'm just gonna leave it alone now this was uh, I may mess with it later who knows oops I don't want my bow getting all messed up in there Just slide that back in there and close that up now the other thing I wanted to show you Close this real quick as you can make a coordinating pin to go with that so what you're going to do is you're going to cut yourself a piece of paper that is three and a quarter inches by three and a half inches and then I like to take my bone folder and the pin and just kind of break that paper up and soften it up so it's easier for me to curl it um, when it's time to curl it to put roll it should I say not curl it roll it so I just kind of use my my pen or you can use the use a, a paintbrush just you just need something round just to kind of break that up and these pins are 
I don't know if you can find these anymore. I just happen to have a supply of them. Uh, these are Pentel RSVP pins and I really like them for this project. You're just going to unscrew your back like that. And you are going to you could try to use your ink barrel for this as well because you want to type you want to uh, you want to roll this really tiny and then it will open up to the perfect size. That's why I like to break down the paper a bit before I do this because it's, it's kind of challenging because you want that you really need that to roll up small enough that it slips inside the pin. Okay. That may or may not be small enough. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. So just slip that in there like that. Could have been a little smaller, but uh, I can get it to work. When you get it smaller, it goes in there a lot easier. There. I'm going to slip my ink barrel right back down in there. Put my backing back on. Just like that. Look how cute that is. Coordinates with my, my little notebook holder or uh, if you didn't want to do notebooks you could decorate this up with coordinating uh, cards and envelopes and put those inside and give it as a gift. Uh, I like to use mine for notebook holders. I will show you these other two. Um, I have more of these but I've given them away as gifts and I sold one. Uh, this is the one, my personal one that I use all the time. And as you can see I did add something to the outside of it. This is uh, one of the uh, Tim Holtz things hardware I don't remember what you call it I've made this a while ago and this is was actually uh, from an embellishment in my stash but this is my personal one so I kind of cleaned it up so I can show it to you I keep my pen in here and then I keep a highlighter because I use this a lot with um, I just take it everywhere with me and when I'm doing my Bible study I can highlight and then I added a little pocket um, this paper is uh, from one of our newer ones. Actually, it does not go with this paper. Uh, well, it's not from this paper pack, but I needed a pocket and I could not find that paper. I'm, I'm pretty sure I had extra somewhere. I just couldn't find it. So, But I needed a pocket for all my loose papers because it was, you know, becoming a little, what is the word, cumbersome, hard. It's just hard to deal with when you have loose papers from all over the place. So... So you can make it, have your little envelope to put receipts in or, you know, papers. Here's one I made, um, another one of our retired papers. And like I said, these are actually a little bit, I don't know, a couple of years old. So uh, this is the, I believe this is Tim Holtz birdcage. And I used some pearls, some of our pearls. I used a little flower there. Um, and then this one is pretty simple. Uh, this notepad is from, I got these from the 99 cent store a while back, and they come three to a pack. These are four by six. You can get some, you know, a little larger ones from Staples or, ah, uh, uh, what was the other suggestion? You know, I forget. <laughs> anyway. So if you wanted to have more paper space, uh, you could do that. And then I have the pen that goes with that. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you will try it out. You will be able to see this particular project on my website, www.lmdstampin.stampinup, where I will list the products, the current products that I use. The stamp set, stamp sets will not be uh, listed because neither one of those are available but I'm sure you have something in your collection that you could use or you can always you know print up a tag and then uh, use this wonderful punch to punch it out or you know whatever shape you wanted to use to go inside of there so again I hope you enjoyed this project and and as always I look forward to being with you again thanks for watching